Hey guys, I hope you had a great New Year's. Just in case you didn't get enough cookies over the holidays, today I'm going to be showing you how to make pudding chocolate chip cookies. These cookies are extra special because they are deliciously soft and they taste amazing. Mmm. Wow. Let's go ahead and get started. Our ingredients include one cup unsalted butter softened, two large eggs at room temperature, one and a half teaspoons vanilla, 3.4 ounces instant vanilla pudding. I had to measure mine out. I couldn't find a smaller package. One teaspoon baking soda plus a half teaspoon salt, two and a quarter cup all-purpose flour, half a cup white sugar, half a cup dark brown sugar, and one 12 ounce package semi-sweet chunks. You can use milk chocolate if you prefer. There you have it, all your ingredients. Let's do this. Add your flour, baking soda, and salt into a large bowl and we're going to whisk this until thoroughly combined. In a separate bowl, add your butter and your sugars. Using a mixer, we're going to cream these on high speed for a few minutes. We want it light and fluffy and the sugar dissolved. Let's scrape down our bowl, making sure we're not leaving anything behind. Next, we will be adding our pudding mix, our eggs, also our vanilla. Pure vanilla extract is the best. We're going to mix this on a low speed until everything is completely combined. Scrape down your bowl again, making sure you get the bottom as well. Add all the dry mixture in and mix on a low speed until everything is just about combined and then add in your chocolate chunks. We won't be using a mixer this time. Exchange that for your spatula and fold in those chocolate chunks until just combined. You don't want to overmix this batter. This batter tastes delicious. Try not to eat it all. Line two cookie sheets with parchment paper and we're going to use a small cookie scoop to scoop out our batter. Make sure that they're far enough apart so they can brown on all sides as they bake also, you don't want them spreading into each other. Once we're done scooping out all of our balls of cookie dough, we're going to refrigerate these guys for about 10 minutes, so that way they don't melt all over the place and they hold their structure better. Guys, check this out. So my husband and his dad installed a microwave that has a light and a built-in fan over my oven. It's so nice. Also, there's a cabinet up there as well, so I can store stuff better. Back to our cookies. Once they're done their time in the fridge, we're going to place them in the oven at 375 degrees and bake them for 9 to 10 minutes. This is the ending result. They look amazing and it smells delicious in here. Let's let them cool off for five to eight minutes. That way they won't fall apart. These cookies are everything you would want in a chocolate chip cookie, just so soft. Thank you so much for watching this episode. My kids love these cookies, as you can tell. Also, if you love chocolate, go check out my Everything Chocolate playlist. There's a bunch of delicious stuff on there. I don't want you guys to miss out. I hope you have a great day and bye for now.